Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I have some new stuff to show. Um, I have some Happy Mail here that came from a good friend of mine, as well as some money for savings challenges. I am really super excited because there is a bunch of new challenges that um, I decided to splurge on um, on Etsy. Um, I usually don't spend any money, you guys, um, but my birthday is coming up, and um, it's coming up in April, and I decided, hey, why not, you know, do a little bit of um, buying. I didn't, I didn't buy that much. I think I spent like seven bucks, <laughs> to be really honest with you, and it came out of my cash tips, so I'm excited about that. So... Let's go ahead and get into the video because we have a lot of things going on. I'm not going to be doing my usual intro. If you're new to my channel, um, I have lots of um, videos where it explains what I do for a living, how old I am, where I live, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> open this Happy Mail. So this came from my friend Michelle. She's Mimi's Sparkle Shack. And I will leave all of her info in the description box down below. Um, she doesn't live in my state. Um, I met her through a friend online and she does paparazzi. Um, I didn't like paparazzi a long time ago because I felt like the stuff was kind of junky. But I feel like they've really kind of like got better quality stuff. If that makes sense. So, she sent me a couple of freebies, as well as this necklace that I picked out. I thought it was pretty. I'm going to take it out. I'm probably going to fix the chain because I'm a very small person, and I like chunky jewelry, but I don't like things to be really long. Like, I'm very short, you guys. This would be really long on me, so I will flip it and make it work for me. But I'm excited because I've been waiting for this in the mail for a minute. All right, so this is what the necklace looks like. Um, if you've watched Game of Thrones um, or read the books, you know that Sansa has a really cool, like, big, chunky medallion um, necklace. It's actually technically like a weapon, um, but they don't show that in the show. Um, but I saw this and I thought of that, and I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to be walking around looking super tight, you know? And I was like, that's super pretty. I like that. Um, I like the little details of it. I like that it's also got this simple... Um, round to it but it has a little shape on the inside it also comes with a little pair of dangly earrings um, if you have heard me in previous videos i previously had um, gauges plugs um, i was in that well i don't know i was i am in that emo slash alternative um vibe going on so if I'm going to wear regular earrings, they have to be the hook ones. Um, and that's why I don't ever ask anybody for earrings for, like, you know, presents or, or gifts. And if you do see them on my um, Amazon wish list, it's because they are the ones with the hooks. So what I do is I put the hook in my uh, ear earring hole, which is now, like, you know, big... I had big plugs for a long time, um, like past of no point of return. Um, so I just bend the hook into my earring hole um, to where it like clamps together so they don't fall out. I do wear plugs sometimes um, if I can find something that I like. And these are some freebies. I thought that these were really cute. I was actually going to try to get a giveaway going for you guys 
so I might still do that, but right now I'm kind of, you know, trying to make sure I have survival first. So these are the cute earrings. She gave these to me for free, which was very sweet. Thank you, Mimi. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so look at how cute those are. And these were only a dollar, you guys. These little earrings were a dollar on her shop, plus shipping. Um, so everything in paparazzi is pretty, you know, inexpensive. I utilize a lot of their jewelry because I can't afford to buy fancy jewelry. And if you can't either, that's okay. So here is her card. Trying not to get a glare in there. And this is her info, which I will also leave in the description box below. But from time to time, I do purchase little items for myself. Not often. I'm a no spend like type of person. I do have some extra cards as well, which was sweet of her. I'm going to give those away to people I know. And I'm going to put this stuff aside. All right, so let's get into this. We have a bunch of new challenges. We have our cash here. We have $27, I believe. Let's count and double check. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yes, not a lot, but more than last time, and that's okay. Well, no, less than last time. I think it was more last time. Um, we're going to put it on our tray here. And we will get on to the challenges. I also revamped my new wallet. Um, I just made it very simple, you guys. Where's that? We've got the new wallet here. And for now, because I'm still in the process of um, getting everything together um, and getting the right paper and everything like that, I just made simple, simple envelopes. I will do, I will actually make my own envelopes. Um, but our new categories um, are groceries, medicine, laundry, pet supplies, household, spending, beauty, and resale cash. Because I don't ever tell anybody what I spend, how I spend on reselling. Um, a lot of times my resale money comes from items I already have. So like um, anything that I already have like plant-wise... Am I shaking the camera? I think I am. Anything that I have plant-wise that um, is already in my house that can count as starter resale money. But we're getting into spring and summer, so there is going to be a lot of yard sales. Um, these are the Struggle Bus cards we have. We're restarting this game, so we will do that. We are also going to be starting this low income 100 envelope box. The myst it's a mystery total. I didn't want to take the time to be honest with you guys and count it all out. Um, also, if you notice, I do have a split cuticle. Um, I'm a nail biter. I'm sure you can tell by all my videos. Um, I haven't uh, been getting my nails done because A, number one, it's too expensive. And two, I do temp work. So um, I have to be available to work in kitchens, do dishwashing, um, prep work, whatever that may be. Um, so I can't have nails in the state of Oregon in most restaurants. But let's get on to it. Now I won't be doing this challenge in the higher number yet. We're going to start small. Small, slow and steady wins the race, guys. Okay, so this is a challenge I made on Canva. It got kind of cut off when it got printed. I printed these on cardstock, um, but I thought it was really cute. I think I did a really good job um, with the coffee stain, um, like the coffee mug coffee stain, and then just doing the coffee cups. This is um, $150 at $5 each. 
and then this one is $20 each and it rounds up to be $600. So we're going to save this one for a future date when we have a little bit more to work with, which will be hopefully in the summertime. We also still have our Hello Kitty challenge, which we have $3 in right now. That's going to probably go to the jar challenge, I'm not going to lie, um, which is over there. I did recently get two bigger jars um, to work with, but we're still going to fill that one first and see where we get where we get with that. This one came from Jamie's Realistic Life. This is um, the Yarn Ball Kitty Challenge. Um, I'm going to be doing $5 each um, on those yarn balls, and I don't have anything dedicated to any of the new ones yet, um, and that's okay. These are really super cute. I got these from another Etsy shop, and when I get to her name on another challenge, I will tell you, um, but for now, I'm just, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I'm terrible with names. Um, so we have these three dog challenges, they're super cute. Um, I'm going to start with the lowest denomination first and work my way up. So we're gonna do the German Shepherd, he's super cute. I had a German Shepherd as a kid, so I feel like he kinda of almost looks very similar, except for my German Shepherd had a pretty much all black face. Okay. We still have the Bento Box Challenge. Um, this one's gonna be a longer term challenge because we're multiplying. Roll a dice, add a number there, one single dice, add the number there, then we're going to roll again and add the number there, and then multiply them, and that's what we're going to stuff. Um, right now, we have $42 in that challenge, and that's awesome. Um, this is the Struggle Bus Challenge. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this challenge, you guys. Let me know in the comments, if my comments are on, um, what you guys think I should utilize this challenge for. Um, I was told because my house savings is um, a goal I want to hit um, this year to put the money towards that, but I'm not sure. Just let me know. I know it's been kind of like a popular thing. Um, I don't know. And then this one is also the same individual that I got the dog challenges from, um, Janelle Ray Budgets, and this is the Moose um on the loose challenge and I think that this is really super cute and it's simple and it's low income um, can you help the moose reach the forest roll a dice move the number of spaces each of these brown dots um, are a dollar and the obstacles are five so anytime I pass an obstacle I have to add five dollars if not we're just adding in the dollar um, for each one that we land on, which is cute. And I can just redo this challenge over and over. Um, let me know, you guys, is there anyone who saves or who sells little game pieces? Like just little game pieces. That would be great. I've thought about making some out of paper, but I'm like, dude, that's like not going to work. Like I keep thinking about that. I'm like, I could just tape it to the dot or tape it to wherever. No, no, no. Sounds like a bad idea. All right, we have Bingo here, um, and this one came from somewhere else. Let me see if I can read the... I can't read the tiny lettering. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I need glasses, but I'm too vain to walk around with glasses on. I know that's like ghetto, but um, <laughs> I also don't want to pay for them. Let's be real. So I will put the person's shop in the description box um, if I can find it. If not, I'm sorry. I really, really am sorry. I can't read it. It's too small. Um, but it comes with these little bingo cards. We will pick a card and it will tell us which one to stuff. If we already stuffed that one, we'll put the number back and we will um, go on to the next we have this bunny challenge. I haven't made an envelope for it yet. I want to um, get some bunny paper, some Easter paper, and I will start this in 
um, April, and this will be our main um, savings challenge for April. And then we have this mini B challenge. I haven't decided which one I'm going to start with. Um, I kind of like the idea of this little scratch off page. We might start that first. Um, and this one came from Jamie's Realistic Life. Um, but there's multiple pages. Once we finish one whole page, the money will be stuffed into sinking funds. Um, well, into the sinking fund for the house savings. And then we will go on to the next. Um, there is eight pages. So that's exciting. I'm hoping that she makes more of these um, in different types of stuff. Like different like not necessarily bees, but you know, just categories. So let's go ahead and start with the big one, which is this way. Why am I trying to go the other way? Which is the bento box. Let's go ahead and start with that because that one can really take a lot of our money. Um, we have our $42 in here. Let's make sure 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, one and two. Yes. All right. Where's my dice? So let me know, what are you guys doing for, um, your kids for spring break? How are you going to keep them entertained? We got four. So we're going to put a number four in here. And if we don't have enough to stuff, I will just write an IOU and we will stuff it next time. I feel like I didn't roll that very well. Let's shake it. Shake it, shake it. Three. Four times three. So three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve dollars. See how that's going to add up? It's going to be awesome. And I'm actually going to wait to put the money in here. We will just write ourselves an IOU for the moment. Stickies. I don't have the sticky note. So we'll just write it with this. I, um, oh my gosh, I can't even write. And if my voice sounds like it's a little raspy, it's because I don't know if I'm getting sick or what. I owe you $12. I really need to print out the IOU slips I made. But do you think I did? No, I didn't. Been too busy doing other things. Busy, busy, busy. All right. So let's go ahead and stuff Miss Kitty here. We're starting from the bottom. So she has $3 in it now. Let's add $3 in. So one, two, three. And no, I didn't see if there was any more of these iBucks, which are unicorns for some of us. But that's over there on the side because I don't want to utilize that. I'm sending it away. So we have three that we added in there. I also add money to that jar when I feel like it. I know that sounds like really kind of weird because I'm adding saving challenges into it as well. But I figure if I have a couple bucks, I'm just going to drop it in there. Or a dollar. Sometimes I'll, like at my temp job, I walked out with three dollars the other day and it just plopped it right in there. I was like, I'm just, I could use it towards savings challenges, but I'm not going to. So, um, let's go ahead and pull something from here to start this off. Um, I have it kind of organized by number, so let's see if I pull one, if it's a two. Yes, a two. And this will go towards either emergency or winter fund, something like that. Something that's a big category, maybe even taxes, if I owe taxes. Um, I go at the end of next week, something like that. can't remember the exact day I go to do taxes, but I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. 
especially after seeing some of you guys um, who are servers um, who owed money and I was like, hey, I don't want to owe. I don't want to make any more payments. I, I made my last payment to Iris uh, recently. So we're going to go ahead and go to the um, next challenge. Let's, let's do one of these in here. I love these dog challenges. We're going to make this one brown and I'm just going to go like this. Of course I love dog challenges because I love dogs. I love dogs more than I love people. Not going to lie. By the way, my dog is being lazy right now. She's like slumped in front of the heater. She's soaking it up. All right. Um, what next? What next? What to stuff? What to stuff? Let's do the coffee challenge as well. I should have just done this like page by page. We'll, we'll go through it in a sec. We're going to do $5. So one, two, three, four, and five. And I wanted to laminate this and reuse it, but I decided for now I'm just going to do this. And this came from um, T and L budgets. I ended up getting a scratch off, and the scratch off got wet, and I ended up having to. Um, not utilize that anymore so we're going to just put a little check mark next to that i know you can't see that very well we already did the hello kitty um we're going to skip the yarn ball one for now um bento struggle boss heck yeah let's shuffle our cards and I know you guys are interested in purchasing this. I still haven't figured out a way to get all that going. I don't want to do Etsy, to be really honest with you guys, because it takes a lot of your money, like 60% of the money. It's just ridiculous. I will buy off Etsy because I know that's what people have to use. But if you have like a shop that's maybe an Insta shop or something else, let me know. So 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. Add it into your envelope. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I don't want to have too many IOUs. Oh, this already has money in it. Cool. So now this has 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. $19. All right. Let's go to the mini B. We will do this one because we need to do something with this challenge. Let's go to this and start this one. Um, so, closing my eyes, okay, five, ah, do we have five dollars? Nope, one, two, three, and four, so we have to write an IOU for a dollar for this. I wish I could just like pull a dollar from somewhere, but I don't have a dollar. Everything I got is what I got. Mini B challenge. And we will write another IOU. I know I'm like ripping little pieces of paper. So we'll write an IOU $5. Oh, wait a minute. Not $5. It's $1. Wow, I'm really losing it. $1. We will put that in there. When I get a dollar, I'm just going to pop it in there. And I might just pay off these IOUs when I'm not on camera. 
I'm not sure. We'll see. All right. So we don't have any money left, but we did some stuffing. Um, I'm excited to start some of these other challenges. Um, we're going to do the best we can with what we've got, and that's all we can do. And that's okay. So we have the coffee challenge. We have Hello Kitty. We have the yarn ball. Um, we have the um, mini savings challenge um, that's going to be the cute shepherd. We have the bento struggle bus. We have moose on the loose, which we haven't started. Bingo, we haven't started. Uh, mini B. And then we also have our box. So that's exciting. I'm excited to see how this works out. I will definitely let you guys know more if I find more out on reselling online. Um, I've also thought of maybe just doing an eBay store. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I don't know if you can sell your crafty stuff on eBay. I don't know much about it. Um, Lisa from Figuring Out Retirement, let me know in the comments. Can I can I sell my stuff on eBay? Would it be worth it? Um, but yeah, that's that's what we have today. Um, we can stretch our dollars, give them a home. Um, make sure that when you're doing your budget, you guys, that your budgeting um, is realistic for what you make. That's what's helping me at this point. Um, I can only do what I can do. I can't lasso everything into everything all the time, and that's okay. Um, and it's okay if you can't either. See you in the next one. Bye!